Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about constant entropy process. Students, con constant entropy process is also called as isentropic process, reversible adiabatic process, or constant entropy process. Okay. So here we will first understand the definition of constant entropy process. So here, if an if any process of expansion or compression is carried out without exchange of heat between the system and surroundings, that is, operation in an insulated cylinder, the process is called an adiabatic process. Okay? During this adiabatic process, the system neither receives nor rejects any amount of heat. So, further here, when an adiabatic process is reversible, that is frictionless, then this process is called isentropic process, reversible adiabatic process or constant entropy process. Now students here we will see the PV and TS diagrams of constant entropy process so here this is the pv diagram here in this here this is the state one and here this is the state two and this is the curve and the as you can see an area under this curve that is this one shows us the work done okay and as this is the constant entropy process on TS diagram, we will get this straight line that is from state 1 to state 2. As you can see, S1 is equal to S2. These are the PV and TS diagrams for constant entropy process. Now, third is here, law of an isentropic process. Here, law states that PV raised gamma is equal to constant. Here, this gamma is equal to Cp upon Cv and here Cp is the specific heat at constant pressure and Cv is the specific volume, specific heat at constant volume, okay? And further here now see relationship between PV and PVT that is pressure, volume and temperature. Here first relation is T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon P1 V1. This equation we have got from general equation that is P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon T2. From this general equation we have got here this T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 V2 upon P1 V1 this equation. Okay now further here see P2 further relationship is P2 upon P1 is equal to V1 upon V2 raise gamma as you can see here or we can write down this as P1 upon V2 is equal to P2 upon P1 raise 1 upon gamma okay now third relation is here T2 upon T1 is equal to V1 upon V2 raise gamma minus 1 okay this is our third fourth equation fourth and here next relation is T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon P1 raise gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay. Now further here see change in internal energy. Change in internal energy is given by delta U is equal to MCV into bracket T2 minus T1. Now further, work done during the process, here work done is given by W is equal to minus delta U, that is minus change in internal energy, that is here further minus MCV T2 minus T1, that is W work done is equal to minus change in internal energy. And see, this is because here, during an isentropic expansion process, the work done is always equal to decrease in internal energy during the process. Because of this, decrease in internal, as you, can, you have seen here, work done is always equal to decrease in internal energy during the process. Because of that, here W is equal to minus delta U. Now further here, see, heat transferred is zero here in for constant entropy process now further as this is the adiabatic process there is no heat transfer because this uh, there is no 
uh, exchange of heat between the system and surrounding so heat transferred is zero in this case so that is in constant entropy process that is q is equal to zero further change in enthalpy is given by delta h is equal to mcp into bracket t2 minus t1 okay and further change in entropy is delta s which is equal to zero delta s is equal to integration delta q upon t is equal to zero change in entropy is zero for constant entropy process as you can see here this is the constant entropy process in this s1 is equal to s2 so students in this video we have understood about constant entropy process thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you